so starting out I'm going to use my P. Louise base in the color rumor number five and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids so that my eyelids can have something or my eyeshadow can have something to stick to once we start and I'm using this elf cosmetics concealer brush to blend everything out So the eyeshadow palette we're going to use today is the Berries palette and I'm going to take that dark pink shade right in that middle and I'm just going to put that right on my eyelids and we're going to focus it on the eyelids the most because we want this look to be very smoky so we want a gradient effect so we're going to focus it on the eyelids and then blow it out just a little bit and I'm just using tapping motions to get the most pigment out of my product. Um, these shadows are really pigmented so honestly I don't even have to do this but this will help to blend everything in later on. So then we're going to go back into that palette and take that lighter pink shade, the only other light pink matte shade. And I'm just going to focus that right at the top of my eyelid. So right under that brow bone. Um, and please excuse my voice today, you guys. It's a little raspy for some reason. I hope everybody is enjoying their time home and staying safe with all of the self-quarantine things that's been going on. I know times are a little hard right now, which is why I'm trying to push out these tutorials so that you guys can have an escape and kind of just, you know, just enjoy life because life is still precious and life is still enjoyable. And even though we're all home right now, it's going to be okay. Okay, so now for the next step, I'm using these crystals that I got from Amazon and then my duo glue. And I like to use this glue specifically because it has the little um, felt tip, kind of like an eyeliner. So as you can see, you're going to need a glue that's like easy to just dot on your eyelid. Um, you could also, like if you are a little worried about the placement, you could always just go in with like a white liner and then put the glue on top of the white liner. But I like to just do this because, um, I don't know, the placement was very random. But now I'm taking those crystals, and I used one large crystal in the center of my eye, and I realized I didn't really like how that looked. So I just did that one large crystal in my, the center of my eye, and then I did the smaller ones all around. And you want to make sure you follow the shape that your eyeshadow is going in to make sure you have a blend. So now I'm going in with my Milani Prime Light Primer, and again, this is my favorite primer. I've been using this for years, you guys. It's just really smooth, and it gives my skin a really nice sheen, and it's really hydrating as well, too. So after you make sure your base is really smooth, you want to go in with your foundation. I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation in the color Campala. And I'm just lining across my face just to control how much product I use because this product is so, so full coverage. And you don't want to over cake it because it can get a little cakey, especially if you're somebody like me who likes to put a lot of powder on top. Um, this foundation can get really cakey. So you just want to make sure that you control how much you use. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush just to make sure everything's blended out. And I'm going in tapping motions because, again, like, this foundation is so full coverage. You don't want to use any other motions like a swiping motion because you might get swipes. And then because it's so thick, you'll be able to see it so easily. So you just want to really take your time with this step and make sure everything is really blended out. So I really like to use the brush to get full coverage and then I like to use the beauty blender to get in any areas that my brush couldn't or just to kind of like smooth everything out. So now I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer and this is in the color 13 and I like to go pretty light, um, different from my skin tone so that I can have a nice highlight because the foundation I use is just a little darker than my actual skin 
Um, I like to go under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. And this concealer is super full coverage, so I want to keep that coverage. So I'm blending it out with a um, brush instead of a sponge. And I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics concealer brush that we used earlier. And it's just a nice fluffy brush that's perfect to get under the eye and just make sure everything is blended out and those edges are seamless. To set my concealer, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm using a beauty blender to put it on. That way I can just press the powder into my skin. I found that pressing the powder instead of letting it just sit on top of the skin gives you a really smooth effect for the face and it makes everything you put on after look really smooth as well. So now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Roxy Contouring and Highlighting Palette. And I'm going to take that deepest shade right there and I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones, my nose, and my forehead so that I can create shadows and basically give my face a nice shape. So then what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of that powder that, I, that we used to set the concealer and I like to just use that to chisel the areas where I want the contour to be a little more sharp. This will give me a really snatched nose. So then I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color Dark and I'm using that to blend everything out will end with each other and I'm just going to also use that to set the rest of my face. So then I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution bronzer. This is their new glow bronzer. When I tell you guys, this bronzer is everything. Like, I got the color medium, and this is the color that we're using today, and it's still pretty dark on me. So I think I'm actually going to go back and buy the color light if it's available because it's pretty muddy, but it's really, really good. Like, it's a really good bronzer, you guys. Then I'm going to use my favorite blush palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush. And it's just like a pink tone. And I'm putting that a little bit above the contour and bronzer. This just gives your face some dimension and some shape. And it makes you look really beat. So now you want to add your highlighter. And the highlighter I'm using is by a indie brand that I don't believe that they even make cosmetics anymore. But we're going to put this on our cheekbones, our forehead, our nose, cupid's bow, and our chin. And this is just going to give our face some glow because we can't have all of those dark shades and dark blushes on our face without some glow to balance it out. So now I'm using a MAC Chestnut Pencil Liner and I'm just going to go over my the outlines of my lips and then I'm using Queens of Vanity Cosmetics um, Clear Gloss. And this gloss has holographic glitters in it that give it like a really high shine. It's one of my favorites. So then I'm going to use some rose water spray. And this is just going to hydrate my skin and make sure everything that I put on today is really melted. And there you have it, you guys. That is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope everyone is having a great day and enjoying their time off of work. Do something productive, you guys. Keep busy. Stay beautiful and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of looks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.